Welcome! This video describes how to set up your computer's environment for running the MetPlus tutorial. The information covered in this video corresponds to the MetPlus practical session on MetPlus setup. Before we begin, it is important that you have both Met and MetPlus already installed on your computer. The installation of MET is outside the scope of this tutorial. You can find the code tarball and release notes at the link at the bottom of the page. Let's scroll down to the bottom. And under the information MET and MET plus source code section, click on the first here link, which will take you to this downloads page. The MET source tarball downloads when you click on this green box. The latest version of MET will always be available at this location. The corresponding latest version of the other MET Plus components will also be available by clicking on the appropriate green box, such as for MET Viewer and MET Plus. If you haven't installed MET Plus on your computer, Please view the video on installing and setting up MetPlus first. You can follow the instructions available in the GitHub repository at https github.com dt center metplus. You can navigate to the right hand side of the of the page and under the releases link you can find all the releases. You can also just directly type in github.com front slash DT Center front slash met plus front slash releases. The latest available version is always located at the top of the page. Scroll down for earlier releases. To get the source code, expand the Assets link if it already isn't expanded by clicking on this triangle on the left-hand side. Then click on the zip or tar.gzip version of the source. Now we will need to create a directory to store all the MetPlus tutorial material. Let's go back to the tutorial web page. We begin by changing directories to the location where you wish to store your tutorial files and create a directory named MetPlus Tutorial. So follow this command, cd, and the path to, the, and replace path to, to the actual directory where you want to store your MetPlus tutorial directory. Create your MetPlus tutorial using the make dir command. And then we'll cd to your newly created tutorial directory. Now that we've changed directory to the MetPlus tutorial directory, determine the full path by running pwd for present working directory at the command line. Set the value returned by the pwd command to the MetPlus tutorial dir environment variable. Let's go back to the instructions. If you are in a bash shell, use the export command. If you're running in a C shell, use the SETI and V command. We're running in bash, so we'll use this command.
Next, create a user underscore config directory to store any met plus config files that you will be creating by entering this command. So come back to the instructions and under using the software, so you'll need to scroll down a bit. So under using the software section, use this make dir command. to store the config command, to the config directory. Now you will need to obtain two useful files, a shell script and a configuration file. Let's scroll back up get back to where we were before. To where you get instructions for obtaining these two useful files. So if you're running in bash shell, you'll run these commands in the code box labeled on your machine bash. If you're running in C shell, you'll run these commands in the code box that follows the on your machine CSH label. If you are interested, if you are installing the tutorial material on your own computer, follow the instructions on your machine or on Linux machine CSH or on your machine or on Linux machine bash. There are also, you might notice that there are also instructions for the host Hera of which you would need to an account in order to access. And these are indicated with the on Hera above the code box. For the MIT Plus tutorial, follow the on your machine or on Linux machine instructions. The first file that you downloaded, tutorial setup either linux-csh.sh or tutorial setup, oops, Tutorial setup Linux bash.sh contains numerous environment variables. Let's go ahead and look in that. In the editor of your choice, open the tutorial setup Linux sh script. And in your shell script, make sure you replace any and all occurrences of path to with the appropriate path. So all of these would, would not have these D1 personal sum user in them. They would have path to, and you would need to replace those path twos with the actual directory. So in our case it's D1 personal sum user. And there is an important reminder at the top of the script just in case you forget. The MET plus tutorial dir is the environment variable that indicates where all your tutorial files will reside. The MET build base is the environment variable that indicates where MET is installed. The MET plus build base is the environment variable that indicates where MET plus is installed. And finally, the MET plus data environment variable indicates where sample input data for the tutorial is located. Save, and then also note is that the path will also have a path to in it, so you'll need to indicate which where your Python 3 executable is located. Save, then close your tutorial setup Linux sh file when you have finished setting all of your paths and, re and you've made sure you've replaced all of those path twos with valid directories. Then source the tutorial setup Linux csh or bash.sh file by entering 
this command at the command line for the bash version of the script. Or this version for the CS C shell version. We'll use the Linux, the bash version. Then we'll verify we've successfully set the environment variables by entering env for environment at the command line. And when we'll scroll and let's look for Met plus tutorial directory. And here it is. So we set that correctly. Now let's enter which master met plus dot py a script that you'll be using frequently for the for the remainder of the tutorial and we find that it is pointing to the directory where our uh, where we've pointed to the met plus build directory which we set in the tutorial setup script. Now, the other file we downloaded, the tutorial.conf file, will be used later on in the tutorials. It utilizes those environment variables that we set to run the Met Plus wrappers in the tutorial. So you can see here that it's using the Met Built Base environment variable we set, the Met Plus data, and the Met Plus tutorial dir, tutorial dir directories that we set. And finally, we need to retrieve the data to run these tutorials. If you are installing the tutorial on your own computer, you will need to retrieve the data tarballs that are found on the GitHub repository. So once again, we can go to the GitHub repo directly with github.com dt center met plus and then navigating to the right hand side you'll find the releases tag tab um, click on that and that'll take you to the repo the the um, releases page and conversely you can also just type in at the nav bar on your browser github.com front slash DT center all in lowercase camel case met plus and releases and once again the most recent version of met plus will be at the top of this page scroll down to the sample data section and click on the met plus data link you will be directed to a directory where data tarballs can be found these tarballs correspond to MetPlus version numbers. Click on the version that corresponds to your version of MetPlus. This will direct you to another directory containing the data files with file extensions.tgz. You will download all the tarballs under this directory. You will click on each link to download the data and save it to the directory you specified in the MetPlus data environment variable in the tutorial setup linux.sh shell script. It will be easier for you if you configure your browser to always ask you where to save downloaded files. Uncompress and untar each of these tarballs by using this command. So let's go up to our MetPlus data directory where we've downloaded subseasonal to seasonal and climate data. Let's go ahead and untar the climate data by typing in tar xvfz, then followed by the name of the tar file, the gzipped tar file. 
We'll create, this will create a model applications directory with our climate data Now we are ready to go through the remainder of the online MetPlus tutorial. This concludes this section. Thank you for your attention and your time.